right, YouTube says I'm live. Am I on the internet? So I feel the need, uh, first off, can you guys hear me? Am I live? Someone in the chat confirm. <laughs> I did this the other night and, uh, for once, for once, I, uh, I did not ask that. And I, uh, I drew this for 40 minutes, uh, and then went to end the stream and the end stream button said start stream. So, whoops. Testing one, two. Can you guys hear me? Someone confirm some audio. My presence online.
Thank you for your content. My coloring skills have greatly improved because of it. Thank you, uh, Ramon. That's pretty awesome. Where are you from? All right, Cliff Studio, you're freaking me out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Mild panic. So, uh, welcome everyone. This is, uh, and this is my, uh, my wife's sleeping voice. I'm sorry if this is disturbing for you, but um, quick, quick story before I get into this. Last night, night before last, the drawing that you're seeing in the time lapse, right there. I'm going away at it on, and I'm streaming. I think I'm streaming. <laughs> Keyword think, and I was like, man, I'm just, I guess, I guess nobody likes it. Like nobody's saying anything, and you know, I mean, for like 40 minutes straight, like there was there was no communication, and so I was like, wow, um, maybe maybe I'm I'm missing something. Maybe it's it's, it's something I've done. <laughs> and so and so anyway, I just think it's weird, and so I go to. Uh, I go to, uh, what do you call it, uh, in the stream, and the end stream button says start stream. I'm like, hmm, okay. So anyway, there, there was some, there, I, I thought I heard some, some dubiousness possibly this morning on the stream when I said that I drew this. I was like, oh, so, so this guy mid-journeyed this I, I, or something. No, no. And so I'm like, here's the evidence over here. <laughs> That's what this is, and I'll I'll make this into an actual full size video in a little bit, in, uh, you know, at some point. But I'm glad to actually be online with you guys. And uh, hey, Chris, hey Masato, good to see you. Christopher L. Mitchell, thank you for the super chat. Are you the Are you the Chris Mitchell that I that I know? Good to see you, man. I have not I have not been over there in uh your way in far too long. I did the uh I did the Taylor Tomlinson show a couple of weeks ago. We were like in and out though. Anyway, so good to see you, man. The uh the plan with this now is to just detail the hell out of it. It's already probably more detailed than anything I've ever done in my life. But the plan is to just go nuts on the details once we get that completely done, once I get that completely done. Um, then we'll start throwing some color in here. And you'll see a few little color tests flash around down there. I'm sorry, if that's too distracting, let me know and I'll turn it off. But I figure on this channel, people are going to be like, what? What is this? What is he doing? This isn't coloring. But I actually just got to the point where I started like uh, adding a little white. Um, other than just a handful of, actually, no, there's not really any white. There's some close to white. Um, 
but I'm, I'm, I'm allowing that to define a lot of these edges at this point. You know, it's basically, I'm basically trying to find all the little places where things are turning and moving and might catch a, a little drop of light or something. And I'm trying to pull that out. But if you're like strategic with it, you can really, it's like, it's, 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 it's heavy duty sculpting. <laughs> it goes, a little good can go a long way. And I had a, a, a patented Bob Ross, like, happy accident earlier with, uh, I was copying and moving the face around. And, uh, I didn't use, I used the feathered selection, so it left this little, uh, kind of wave effect when I moved it. And I was like, kind of looks like distortion on the glass or something or it's doubling or you know like it totally just if I wouldn't have pointed it out you would have thought I was some sort of rendering genius right to like figure that out right exactly uh, <laughs> but anyway um, that was nice those are rare I still do the zoom in and out thing. Sorry, I'm trying to cut back on that. <laughs> I know it's a little annoying. Yeah, and you can sort of tell in the drawing when I actually got some reference. <laughs> I was kind of going from memory from the cartoon like to me that's that's the right Mr. Freeze and uh, yeah you see you can see, it looks like he has a few plastic surgery uh, changes <laughs> throughout throughout the sketch And there's some stuff I'm waiting until I get to color to do, like, a little bit more on. Because um, I want to have this thing glowing, like, from his neck. But I'm not smart enough to do all of that in just value. So it'll, it'll be a little kind of hybrid grayscale to color, you know. But it, it's not like I won't paint over the color again. Does that make sense? Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, animated Mr. Freeze is the best one. I think so. I do think so. I, but I think that's cartoon is sort of like the best at everything, though. I'm very uh, biased. <laughs> Yeah, you can see when it like gets more on model <laughs> a little bit, like his eyes, like his goggles were like way too something. Use that quick nice tip like a champ tonight on my piece. Yeah, I, I really I, I I do feel pretty dumb that um yeah, that was just one of those things that, like, I don't really need to figure out what that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then once I used it, I was like, oh, this is really cool. But 
but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be using that a lot, a lot more. Like I I was doing it like uh, re like repeatedly last night, even while uh, hold on, I need to put some something underneath this. There we go. I didn't mean to go transparent there. <laughs> But uh, anyway, what was I saying? What was I doing? I would like uh, open it up and then like just paint his, like say his nose. And like whatever, like the surrounding like planes of face that I would want to move. I don't know. It felt a lot more natural than trying to do a, what do you call it? Um lasso selection and let's see where is it at and then you can get your you know liquify tool whatever and just modify that without it affecting anything else but yeah there's a million ways to use that like I said I'm like I said it kind of feels weird that I didn't ever bother to do it. I get sort of set in my processes at some point. Yeah, like it works. It works either way, Chris. So I don't think it really matters. Like it's just another another way of doing it, and you know, I I tend to think in mask language a lot, and so like I'll I'll probably be using that a lot more. detail this thing needs to be but yeah like at, at this point it's like I'm kind of pushing it as far as I can push it because this is sort of uncharted territory <laughs> but beyond that like you could definitely start coloring this at this point
Looking great so far. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. And, uh, and good luck with the uh, the issues there. Will this stay on YouTube? Uh, probably. Probably so. Where do you sell the pictures you make? Uh, they're normally in comic books. Um, this is the first like drawing drawing that I've done in a long time. But yeah, I want to I want to do more of it. I want to get into. Uh, I want, to, I want to get into doing some covers, actually. But, like the uh, advice that I give you guys all the time, uh, you need a portfolio for that. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't really have one. And I also haven't been drawing for fun as much as I used to. And this is uh, kind of getting me back into that. But yeah, hopefully I can get somebody to be like, hey, I need my comic book cover to look like this, and I've got a couple of hundred bucks in my budget. <laughs> also, you know, love of art. Hey, 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 what's up? House of the Nerd Show. Welcome. How's things? <laughs> So this is obviously like my take on that version of the character, like a more realistic version and a little bit more um, whatever, kind of a sinister, darker feeling or whatever. I'm thinking like, like I don't know, this is some kind of like textured carbon fiber or something. I was really trying to think about if this was actually a refrigerated suit. <laughs> 
Now, I haven't done the research on, like, you know, the connections or whatever. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Be like, oh, well, that's a 48 millimeter. Yeah, I'm not going to get that serious with this. It really is amazing what, like, a handful of highlights, like, specked around will, like, do for making it look like you did so much more than you did. <laughs> and whenever this is done, it, it could, I could no lie, color it in, I think, 30 seconds at this point. I've done a couple of coloring tests on this just on overlay layers and because all the values are well, obviously like kind of there already just like kind of everything you throw at it works pretty well <laughs> so like splash around some colors in the important places and like you could call it done but I figured this would be a nice little learning experience I've already feel like I've learned a lot like I'm gonna make I gotta make like you know 20 tips I figured out actually drawing again <laughs> shocking how that works hey Calvin what's up man good to see you been away from the show since the holidays happy to get back into the swing of things awesome awesome I feel like I need to plug this pencil again. I'm using it a lot. Uh, it's not mine. It's Ron Chan's pencil. <laughs> so if you if you Google Ron Chan side pencil um, on your if you Google it in your favorite search engine, that's what I was about to say. If you um, look up those terms on the interwebs, you will find it. I don't think I did anything to it. Um, it's pretty awesome, and I use it a lot even to quote-unquote, you know, paint. And this again, this, this gun is like loosely, loosely modeled on, well, not that loosely, but modeled on his gun from the show. I added some of this stuff to dress it up a little bit, but I wanted it to pretty much look the same. <laughs> like a it's like a rectangle with a handle, basically. The thing that I've figured out recently about these little specular highlights, and again, I don't really have a reference for this hand. I probably should have, but um, what I a specular highlight of these little small highlights here that are really bright. And what I figured out is if you're using them correctly, a little goes so far to define like that point or that that uh, you know the uh, the modeling of that area the shape of it and if you're off a little it really screws it up quite a bit <laughs> so I feel like it's like it's a blessing and a curse trying to get them to look right
And if you've just joined, welcome. This is, uh, my wife is asleep in just a few rooms away. And this is what I sound like. <laughs> Sorry for like, why is he doing this whispery wannabe Bob Ross voice? I'm trying to be quiet. I'm not the one that gets up early. There's your secret to a happy marriage, kids. Don't wake her up. <laughs> yeah, we're actually, what, uh, this month is uh, the 23rd anniversary of our first date. That'll make you feel old. Some of you guys aren't even that old. I don't know. Not my audience. <laughs> You're like two. There's a 2% chance, I think, if I remember my analytics correctly. Twenty six, yeah. Garrett's a baby at twenty six. <laughs> and I'm trying to make these things look sort of as bulbous as they do <laughs> on his character, which is which is sort of entertaining to think about. They're really like it's very puffy, you know. And in a villain, I just think that's funny that you can pull off puffy. I remember random phrases from YouTube artists, and one I remember from Boro is there's always room for gradients, and I can see that everywhere here. Dude, that's so funny that you're... <laughs> it's so funny you mentioned that, because I've thought it about a hundred times over the course of this, is like, Boro loves the gradients. Like, and I'm going to explain this real quick. Uh, so it used to be Boro Dante. I think it's, what's it, Boro CG now on YouTube? Um just amazing uh, young artist, um, and um, <laughs> he's got this, uh, he has a way for putting things that I love, but um, when he talks about there's always room for gradients means that if you want an object to appear to have form, and it's round, then there really shouldn't be any flat areas, you know. I mean, if we're going for for details here, because and, and there and there are flat areas all over this. This is not that great, but um, but a flat area means that, like for example, and this is actually meant to represent some glare here also that I haven't really put in yet, but like this right here is like all the same value, okay? That little area right there, so. When he says there's always room for gradients, it's like, well, there's some way to to uh, add some more color shifts to this so that it's not just that flat. Like, you know, there was, more light would probably be wrapping around, you know, uh, this way. Do I even have a color picked here? Hold on. I'm on the blender. Of course I'm on the blender. <laughs> anyway, 
but like I can get this edge that is that probably would have some more light wrapping around it and like you know make that a little bit of a more of a curve around the edge of that you know or or, or pull out some of this that maybe should be a little bit brighter than it is you know uh, you know throw some details in here like and what I'm doing is I am I am sculpting that space I'm sculpting that flat area uh, into something that actually contours you know into the shape that you're trying to make there you know it's really good advice <laughs> that um, it, it actually amazes me I've said this about him a few times like given how young he appears and I, and I think he is um, he has such like wisdom about color like it's it's in, it's crazy uh, I think we, we, we think very similarly <laughs> as far as like we're, we're like very technically in a way. And so um, I, I really related to his channel quite a bit. Um, I'll type it out in the chat. There we go. But I, but I, I learned a lot from him. Like a lot of my favorite YouTubers, he's he's moving into, or has moved into like 3D heavily, and I'm like, rah, rah, I'm an old man, rah. like, <laughs> very mature, super mature. I'm gonna do all this and then like blow it out with a glare right over the middle of it. Uh, if you're just joining, welcome. I'm not talking much unless you guys have questions about something. All right, I want to probably too early to do this but I think yeah at some point I want to find like because I think it would be hell to paint or at least find it for reference but like find like some frost like like the like the fractal ice shapes that it's like on glass and figure out a way to like wrap it around this thing And then my, my theory for what's going to happen down here, which right now is kind of loosey-goosey, is that um, this is going to glow. Like, we, we are so far from white down here. You know, we've got, like, a lot of room for white. Um, I did that on purpose. We're leaving the white just for the, the cool stuff. Uh, basically. So, you know, that, that can get a lot lighter, but so I, I want to kind of wait and see before I start painting in a lot of stuff because I know most of it's going to just get you know look like a glow I'm kind of imagining this as like some kind of machine that's going to like, you know, have some warning lights going on here. <laughs> like, whoops, something is not right.
Yeah, thanks for coming by, uh, Mr. Mitchell. Take care. And uh, everybody else. Thank yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. It is late, I know. What inspired this drawing? Um, I have been wanting to, to try this for a while. Just some kind of like really insanely detailed for no reason um, drawing to kind of just find what, like in my head, I was thinking there's, you know, there's some theoretical limit here of, of, <laughs> of, of how detailed I can make something, right, before I'm going to, you know, before it's not going to work. And uh, as far as the content itself, like I just I like I like him as a villain. Uh, I've been thinking about Batman lately, and um, I like his. Uh, there's just a lot of interesting options uh, as far as like his uh, his suit and the tech and like you know it's something that you could that would be you know like fun to goof around with, you know. And, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the emotional stuff, uh, I don't know, but we'll have to, you guys have to figure that one out. just making sure that there's nothing that looks unfinished like uh, it seems okay to me from like a broad view it looks and it looks like it's in a lot of detail and that's not I'm not fishing for a response there by the way I would prefer you not actually but uh, that's what I'm thinking right now <laughs> Is like, uh, like what is what is to be added to push this any further? At least at this stage, I've got some ideas for like some rim lights and you know, dressing it up like after color comes in. But yeah, I think I'm getting close to that point of like. seen enough detail probably Are there black and white artists that impressed or inspired you early in your development? Uh, good question. It was definitely something that I picked up from YouTube. Um, I, I don't think I was really thinking about working that way until I saw... Uh, man, there's, there's a handful of artists um, that I'm trying to think of right now. App... Apturus, Apturus, Apturus. I don't know how you say his name. I'm gonna look it up real quick. He didn't necessarily. Yeah, that is the name. Give me one second. I will link one of his videos. All right, am I back? Am I back on the internet? Right. 
Am I back on now? All right. Testing. Oh, I hear it myself. Never mind. It's working. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, this guy's, uh, I just linked a video. Uh, and his content, it can get a little uh, weird, I will I'll say. Uh, interesting. Creepy, that kind of thing. Weird in a good way. So just warning you. But like his his process was uh, was for me like kind of eye opening. Like he it, like he just he took advantage of the, of the digital side like in a way that I don't think I had really noticed before. Uh, there was also um, there was another guy that uh, Taron. I can't think of his. Uh, I can't think of his, his his last name right now. I haven't watched. I haven't seen his channel in a while. Does a lot of like uh, anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> if you want to throw that Google search term in there, good luck. But uh, he he's just amazing to me with uh, just his anatomy. It seems pretty effortless. Yeah, Apturus, uh, and he does a lot of like weird stuff with with uh, reds and greens that just feels like. Like what alien taught you this? Like it's, <laughs> you know, like it, it's it's just a palette you don't see uh, a lot of, and then and then he just will throw everything else in the rainbow in there too. So like, <laughs> it's it's pretty amazing. But yeah, I've learned a lot watching uh, painters on YouTube. Uh, James Garney, I, I know I've talked about James like a jillion times, but his books had more to uh more to do with like how color works in my brain I think than anything his YouTube channel too but it's, it's the foundations in the books I'm looking up that uh, video one second Oh yeah, I don't know if I've watched this one. I'll put it on my list. <laughs> it's the only like specialized brush that I did was this little um, this effect 
and so I'm messing it up. <laughs> Hiding your my tracks. I can't draw these things the other direction. D direction. Direction. Can't talk tonight. I don't know what I don't know what Batman did to this suit, but he thoroughly screwed it up. The timing must have been bad. I don't know if the timing's ever good for getting your 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 frozen suit screwed up. He's just really ticked off about it. I think I lost quite a bit of work, didn't I? Because I thought that I did this a long time ago. No, because all of that's there. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think we're all right. <laughs> And I'm also going to blend some of this stuff a little bit. Just like the glass is kind of dirty or something. Strategic blurs. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a quick little... Uh, color test I think on this if clip studio doesn't crash I don't know why it takes so long to save I guess it's because I'm recording a pretty long video too come on clip you can do it there we go Before I do that, I do need to throw in a few spots up here. Alright, so uh, on a new layer on top, and this is not like, I'm not going to full colors just yet, but um, I want to see, I want to see what this looks like with a little color in it. And I'm keeping this pretty subtle. All of this is going to be like this kind of stuff. Like very glacial is how I'm thinking about it. Whoops. 
wrong brush. Soft airbrush. This is quick mask mode, so everything I'm doing is going to become a selection. I've, I've just like discovered this tool that was created 30 years ago. Gonna be the fastest colored job in history. Anyway, that's how we're gonna color it in that kind of ballpark. <laughs> when I say we, I mean me. I might be schizophrenic. <clears throat> We'll probably do something with the background. Maybe not that, but you get the idea. <laughs> so I think that'll come like that'll come together quickly. All right. So I've been on here an hour. I think we've got a lot of progress done. I think I'll save this for Wednesday's stream. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit more cleanup on this in the meantime, because I won't be able to leave it alone for that long. But on uh, next week's stream, uh, maybe we'll talk about coloring this and explaining how to do this over the washes, because that's been a highly, highly requested uh <laughs> a highly requested tutorial. Um, that and probably gradient maps, I think, because I'm guessing that's another one of those things where, like, everything's probably going to look interesting at minimum just because they're, the values, that's all there is. I mean, they're not all winners. <laughs> Some of this is wild. Wild, man. That looks like it could be a sci-fi poster from, like, the 60s or something. Oh, I like that. Yeah, some of these are wacky. Yeah, we'll play around with this stuff anyway. All right, see y'all next time.